mention the Quran. In Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 110. Kulidullah Abdul Rahman, Ayama Tadu, Falal Asma al Husna. Say, call upon him by Allah or by Rahman. By whichever name you call upon him, to him belong the most beautiful name. You can call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by any name, but it should be a beautiful name. It should be a name given by Allah and his messenger. It should not conjure up a mental picture. And there are no less than 99 different attributes given to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this message that to him belongs the most beautiful name. Besides Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse 110, it's also mentioned in Surah Taha, chapter number 20, verse number 8. In Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 180, as well as Surah Hashar, chapter number 59, verse number 24, that to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala belong the most beautiful names. And if we read the Quran, there are no less than 99 different attributes given to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Al-Hakim, most merciful, most gracious, most wise, no less than 99. And the crowning one, it is Allah. Why do we Muslims prefer calling Allah by the Arabic name Allah instead of the English word God? The reason is because a person can play mischief with the English word God. For example, if you add S to God, it becomes God's, that's plural of God, there is nothing like plural Allah. Kul hu Allah ahad. Say he is Allah one and only. If you add E E S S to God, it becomes goddess. That means the female God. There is nothing like male Allah or female Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has got no gender. If you add a father to God, it becomes Godfather. He is my Godfather. He is my guardian. There is nothing like Allah Father or Allah Abba in Islam. If you add a mother to God, it becomes Godmother. There's nothing like Allah mother or Allah Amin Islam. Allah is a unique word. If you prefix a tin before God, it becomes tin God. There's nothing like tin Allah in Islam. That's the reason we Muslims, we prefer calling Allah by the Arabic word Allah instead of the English word God. And this word Allah, I being a student of comparative religion, this word Allah is mentioned in the scriptures of the major world religions. And it's also mentioned in the Bible. If you read the Bible, it's mentioned in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 15, verse number 34, as well as Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 27, verse number 46. When Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, when he was put on the cross, he cries out, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? In every Bible, any translation you pick up, any language, whether it be English Bible, Hindi Bible, Tagalog Bible, French Bible, German Bible, any Bible you pick up, this word, Allah, Allah, Lama Sabakhtani, has been maintained in its pure form. Why? Allah knows the best. Why have these original words have been maintained? And then the translation says, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? But the original, Allah, Allah, Lama Sabakhtani, has been maintained for reasons best known to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all the Bibles. You pick up any version of the Bible, King James Version, RSV Version, New American Standard Version, New World Translation, any version out of the hundreds available, any language of the Bible, this verse, Allah, Allah, Lama Sabakhtani, has been maintained. And the translation, if it's the English Bible, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? Now, if you want to try it out, that people say, but natural, Allah, Allah, Lama Sabakhtani, does not sound similar to my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? Does it sound similar to Jehovah, Jehovah, why has thou forsaken me? And the answer is no. Now, if you translate this verse into Arabic, Allah, Allah, Lama Sabakhtani, it will read, Allah, Allah, Lama Taraktani. Hebrew and Arabic, they're Semitic languages. Allah, Allah, Lama Sabakhtani. Allah, Allah, Lama Taraktani. This sounds similar. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, too, used the same word Allah, Almighty God. And this word Allah, I being a student of compared religion, is mentioned in the scriptures of the major world religions. 
That's the reason we Muslims, we prefer calling Allah, by the word Allah, instead of the English word God.